Now I'm starting part two of my 60s inspired look. I'm taking a CQ eyeshadow palette here and I'm just taking the lightest colour which is a white and I'm going to apply that all over the lid. I've already got on my base and my concealer. Basically we're going for a Twiggy-esque type look here so I want a really strong eye makeup. So I'm just blending that all around, all over the lid to pale down. And I'm just evening out the tone on my eyelids. Now I'm taking a screen face eyebrow pencil. Because I want my brows to be quite defined, I'm just going to go in with my pencil and make them a little bit darker and thicker. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Longwear Gel Eyeliner. I'm going to draw a line just above the crease following my lid shape. You don't have to be too precise here because I'm going to blend it in a second. And I'm using a really fine brush for this. I'm doing it just above the crease so that it doesn't disappear when I open my eyes. I'm just taking a flat soft brush here and I'm just blending that in a little bit just to smudge it. This is a really cool iconic look from the 60s. And I'm just going to go in really close to the lid and apply the same eyeliner all along the top and adding a little wing. Sometimes your eyeliner is easier to apply in the corner when your eye is open. Just make sure you don't poke yourself in the eye. So I want this line to be quite defined so I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. I'm just going to go in with my eyeliner and just strengthen that top line by just adding a little bit more. Now I'm going to take a black coal Barry M pencil and I'm just going to go along my lash line. I find coal a lot easier to use underneath the eye as I, man as I seem to get the liquid liner everywhere. I'm going to take my flat soft brush and I'm just going to smooth that out and smudge it a little bit but not too much, I don't want to make it look too smoky. I still want to keep it quite defined. Now I'm going to take a white pencil, or you could use ivory, and I'm just going to go on along the waterline. Be careful, make sure the pencil isn't too sharp. I'm using the white pencil because it's very iconic for the 60s and it's a very dramatic way to make your eyes look bigger. Now I'm using Rimmel Scandalized Mascara. I'm just going to go in and put quite a few coats on. This is a good mascara because it's got a big fat brush and I can get some good layering with this. Now I'm going to use Clinique Bottom Lashes and I'm just going to go in with my mini brush and just gently coat the bottom lashes to make them really stand out. Heavy mascara in the 60s was very popular. This little brush as well is very handy to get in corners, so you can always flick out your top lashes with this mini brush. Now I'm going to take my white pencil and I'm just going to highlight the brow bone 
and make my eyebrows stand out even more by just drawing and smudging some white pencil all along the top and lifting the eye area. Now I'm going to take a MAC taupe eyeshadow which is matte and I'm going to go in and contour my face. I'm using this instead of a bronzer because I don't want to look bronzed, I just want to look more sculpted. I'm just going in with this shadow in the natural dent of my cheek and just blending it out. Always blend from underneath. Now I'm taking the terracotta blush and I'm just dabbing a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. I don't want to use too much blusher for this look. As everything else is so dramatic, I think it could end up looking a bit weird. You just almost want a healthy glow to your skin. Now I'm taking a Clinique chubby stick and I'm just going to go in and fill in my lips. Any pale or pastel colour would be really nice here. Maybe a baby pink, maybe a matte lipstick if you wanted to go really 60s. I've decided to go a bit more glossy this time. And then my MAC Lacquer lip gloss on top, just for a little bit of sheen. Now it's lash time. I'm using Add Lash Glue here and I'm just adding that to the strip. My absolute favourite glue is Duo Lash but unfortunately I didn't have any so I had to use this glue instead and it was rubbish. So I've just applied those lashes to the top and for extra drama just add some individual lashes to the bottom. And this is my 60s inspired look. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to give us your feedback and don't forget to subscribe.